Well, it's Sunday, the 9th of April, and I just poured out over five inches of rain out of the rain gauge. We had a heck of a storm the last couple of days here. So let's go up into the high country and see what it looks like up way up in the watershed. Not necessarily the Oroville watershed, but just south of there in the Yuba watershed area. Donner Pass. <laughs> Breaking news, I finally got the $50 piece that attaches my Ed, Ed Jutij uh, lav mic to the GoPro. This little cord right here, 50 bucks. No more wind noise. Check out this new and improved audio system. Testing, one, two, three, can you hear me now? With a little bit of wind over here on Donner Summit and the new Ed Jutij mic setup on the GoPro, it should come in loud and clear. So I'm up here at the old abandoned train tunnel where the Transcontinental uh, Railroad used to go through to Donner Summit and now it's been relocated just a little bit to the south of here to give you a, a high country report on the Oroville Reservoir. Now the Donner Summit area off Interstate 80 is not exactly in the Oroville watershed, however the snow conditions are just the same, if not more, in the um, Feather River watershed just about 30 miles to the north of this position here. I'm standing on top of about 14 feet of snow uh, and we just had a very strong winter storm pass through the last couple of days producing two additional feet of snow here in the Sierra. As a re result of this powerful winter storm which also brought 60-70 mile an hour winds up here to the uh, summit, uh, the Oroville Reservoir has jumped nearly 10 feet since we last talked. Current as of this morning, Sunday the 9th of April, elevation 855 feet, 10 feet over since the last time we talked. Remember, it was only rising at a rate of about 12 inches per day. Now it's jumped nearly 10 feet in three days. Those inflows popped up just as uh, predicted to 39,000 feet, and as of today, the inflows are about 30,000 cubic feet per second. Uh, the Hyatt power plant, they got that cranking up, uh, working hard at uh, 12, 12,900 CFS. So we are well on track for recording the wettest winter on record this year. Remember the, that uh, record-breaking uh, run ends in October. We've got yet another storm coming Wednesday, Thursday, Friday time frame of this week. It should not be quite as powerful as the storm we just experienced. So here's what the new so-called powder looks like. Sierra cement underneath here, once you get down to the old stuff, making for a slow runoff. So what does all this mean for Oroville Reservoir? I think it means another two spills minimum to get us through this uh, spring season at Oroville and is gonna further constrain the time, the already tight time constraints of getting the Oroville spillway repaired by November or rebuilt. Lots of great comments and links added to our little YouTube discussion. I think we're all going to learn a lot more about RCC, Roller Compacted Concrete, here in the near future. The short answer on what is it, it's fast and it's cheap. <laughs> it's a fast way to fill those voids in layers of, uh, they go in uh, lifts of 12 inches e of each. Once you get RCC rolling though, it's a 24-7 operation. You have to keep piling that concrete on until you get to the top to make sure that those lifts uh, adhere to one another. Special shout out to viewer Daryl Morse who got to the bottom of the RVOS question uh, and digging through the archives of the, of the dam construction notes at Oroville, he found that the original design of the RVOS was only good for a head of 672 feet. So the original RVOS system was only designed to operate at a much lower res reservoir elevation. What the new RVOS system is capable of, we still don't know, and I hope, and I'm still waiting to hear from DWR as to what the answer is on that. I'll take you a little further down the mountain and show you some of these, uh, how some of these cabins are faring buried in the snow down here. And we'll go take a look at the Yuba River and see how it's flowing. Even though it's not part of the Oroville Feather River watershed, it gives you an idea of how these rivers are flowing 
during this time of year with this amount of runoff. Again, a lot of this snow has already melted up here in the high Sierra. Uh, this is the last 14 feet left. Once you get below, much below 6,000 feet, 5,000 feet, there's virtually very little snow left. Just that which fell during this last storm, which only amounts to 6 to 12 inches down the lower elevations. 24 inches of new snow up high. Of course, Donner Pass, named after the ill-fated Donner Party, who got snowed in here on their trek to get to the gold fields, 1848-1849 time frame, right nearby here, just over the summit. Rescuers came right over this pass, roller pass, and the Donner Party escaped the Sierra this, this direction, right through here. Headed down the valley in Sacramento. Here's a fair example of how the snow piles up around here on these homes and cabins. Springtime! Get your shovel. So as you can see, the weather varies wildly in California based on the geography. In just a short amount of miles, you can be 14, 18 feet of snow versus down in the valley where it's sunny, warm, and wildflowers are blooming. Only an hour's drive away. Yeah, they're slowly getting unburied. Here at the Rainbow Lodge at about the 6,000 foot level, that's mostly snow pushed up from the parking lot. We'll take a good look at the uh, Yuba River and get an idea what the uh, spring kind of runoff looks like up here in the high country. Here's a look at the South Fork of the Yuba River at about the 6,000 foot level here at the Rainbow Lodge. Now again, the Yuba River is not part of the Orville watershed. It's not part of the Feather River watershed. This is the next watershed to the south of of the Orville area, but it gets you an idea of how these high country rivers are running this time of year, despite all the weather we've recently had and all the last two feet of snow we just had over the last three days, they're running clear and fairly full, but very controlled. It's not that high, muddy, dangerous kind of flow you get with the warm rains. This is a lot of inflow, but very controlled. Here's your classic Sierra cement. Well, this is here by the road where it's been pushed around, but it is rock hard. Slowly melting. But there's much less snow uh, down in the lower elevations. A lot of the snow up here in the Sierra has already melted. So from here in the high country with your high country report on the Orville situation on Sunday, the 9th of April, I'm Juan Brown and you're watching the Blanco Lirio channel. Tubing at the Donner Ski Ranch, only $20. Step right up. What are you getting, Pete? <laughs> Aren't you just as cute as a button? <laughs> you're liking the music? Yeah, I do it, man. <laughs> that funny. Yeah, yeah. Right over there is Sugar Bowl <laughs> Ski Resort. On the other side of the tracks. Are you ready? Yes. Set. Ah! Go! <laughs> bye bye, Pete.
Where'd you go, Pete? <laughs> Gotta get him trained up for a Hollywood stuntman. Okay, you guys are ready to solo. Take your small tubes and go by yourselves now. What form you got there, Jenny? That's amazing. Head right back in the hopper you go. Get your money's worth. That snow's taller than you, Pete. Good job, kids. You got your money's worth, Pete. Was that fun? I got first place. You got first place? Yeah. <laughs>